Did you know the man who prevents billions from starving also created the first weapons of mass destruction? Fritz Haber won the Nobel Prize for inventing synthetic fertilizer that feeds half the world's population today. But this same brilliant chemist also developed chlorine gas warfare during World War I. On April 22, 1915, at Ypres, his chlorine clouds drifted across no man's land. Soldiers tore off their masks, gasping for air, only to drown in their own lungs as the gas burned through their respiratory systems. His own wife, Clara, was so horrified by his work, she shot herself with his service pistol in their garden. She begged him to stop, but Haber believed science should serve the state above all moral considerations. The same chemical processes he pioneered later inspired Zyklon B, the gas used in Nazi concentration camps. One man's genius both feeds the world and showed humanity new ways to destroy itself. The father of chemical warfare proved that Nobel laureates aren't always humanitarian heroes. Sometimes they're the architects of our darkest innovations.